Good morning, Valley West. Welcome home. It's good to be amongst family and friends this morning. I really hope you guys have had a phenomenal Thanksgiving holiday. And uh, I just want to welcome you this morning. Those of you that are visiting from out of town or hanging out with us, getting ready to take off later this afternoon maybe. We're just excited that you're here with us this morning. You couldn't have picked a better place. It's warm inside, right? <laughs> always. It's always warm inside the house of the Lord. Let's stand this morning as we get ready to worship Jesus. I just kind of want to share a, a scripture as we prepare to meditate on the good things of the Lord. That word meditate sometimes gets mixed up amongst my teenagers. They think meditation, they think yoga, and third world type of worship. I was meditating on a pecan pie all week. <laughs> Is anyone else meditating on pecan pie? It's just, it's just a lost art, the, wall, the, the, the nut pie. It's a lost art. It gets overwhelmed by everything pumpkin. I blame Starbucks for that. That's a millennial joke. All right. <laughs> only two people got Only two millennials. I, I want to read out of Colossians chapter 2, verse 7. The Bible says, Keep your roots deep in Him. Have your lives built on Him. Be strong in the faith. Just as you were taught. And always be thankful. I've been meditating on this scripture throughout the last couple of days, and, and the reason I've been doing that is because my, my son is into books. We, we read, and every night I read him a story, and we're, we're reading them, and I told my wife, man, we need more Christmas story. We need to, I need to go get some more, some more Christmas-type stories, and I'm excited because this is the first year I get to read him the story of Jesus' birth, and I get to begin to teach him. And as I was reading the scripture, it says, keep your roots deep in Jesus. And as I'm preparing my yard, winterizing my yard and, and adding some fertilizer and some last minute things to get my yard ready, I, I think about the roots of all my plants and how deep they got to be to withhold the wintry season. I want to encourage you this morning, church, that as we worship the Lord, that you're winterizing your, your, your spirit man almost. As we dig deeper and deeper into the Lord, we go through seasons. It's totally scriptural that we go through seasons. And some of you right now might be in a summer season where life is great and the Lord's blessings are bountiful. But then some of you might be going through a winter season where it feels like, man, I cannot even hear his voice. But I want to encourage you this morning. It doesn't mean he's not talking. It might be a little bit quieter. Or it could be he's not talking. He wants to see how, how much you're going to knock on his door. How loud are you going to pound for the Lord? Talk to me. That's what I do. Every, every Sunday morning we come in here, I just lift my hands and say, okay, Lord, talk to me. Talk to me. Because I could sing every song on the karaoke screen, but I want to hear his revelation. I want to hear what he's saying in the moment. It's a two-way conversation. Rooted deep in the Lord. So that way when the winter months come, I'm going to withhold, I'm going to withstand. Because spring's coming. Spring's coming. Summer's coming. The time of, of fruitfulness, the time of, of growth, it's coming. But it's what we do in, the, in these seasons where it feels like we're just not hearing, we're just not feeling, we're not experiencing, we're looking around and we're comparing ourselves to the way others are living in the Lord. And the Lord's saying, no, 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 keep your eyes on me. There's no good to compare yourself to how Ernie's living his life for me or how Roger's living his life for me or how Anthony's living his life for me. It does no good. Comparison will kill your destiny. So we worship this morning. We worship that this morning. Because of what Malachi said, the all-powerful Lord said, I will send my messenger who will prepare the way for me. And then suddenly the Lord you are looking for will come to his temple and the messenger of the agreement who you want will come. Isn't that what we want? I want the messenger. 
who, who made the agreement with me that said, I am returning for my spotless bride to come. That's what I want. That's what I'm waiting for. So we worship this morning that same God. So I'm gonna grab, grab somebody's hand next to you. Grab the shoulder of the person next to you. I believe the Lord wants to partner with you this morning to release the very things of heaven that he has prepared for you this morning, for your neighbor this morning. We're gonna partner with one another and just pray a blessing over each other as we prepare our hearts for what the Lord has in store for us. So our Father, we lift up one another this morning and we say, would you come and fill this place? For those that are in this room and those that are joining us online, we ask God that you would pour out the very love of heaven, the love that hits our hearts and allows us to encounter Jesus in a supernatural, phenomenal way. Papa, we anticipate that this morning you are releasing the prophetic, that you are releasing signs and wonders, healings, God, that you are releasing words of encouragement. Father, we pray this morning that the roots of your children would run deep in heaven. Let them grow deeper and deeper into the soils of heaven where they can experience great ecstasies of life through the Lord Jesus. Father, we lift up our neighbor this morning. Come on, whoever you're touching, just begin to pray for them. Father, we pray that you would come and encounter them this morning they would be able to experience life in a new way, that they would leave all anxieties and fears and worries at the altar, that they would come, God, excited to worship in your house this morning. Now will you do me a favor? Let's just lift our hands to heaven and let's begin to worship the Holy Spirit. Let's just begin to love on the Holy Spirit. It's the Holy Spirit who desires to come and join us this morning as we sing songs of adoration to the king who died on the cross but then he rose from the grave and now he sits at the right hand side of the father and he's making intercession for those that call him Abba for those that call him father for those that call him miracle man great lover king of kings the lord of lords Yeshua come on Holy Spirit come this morning we invite you in this place this morning. For every hand lifted, would you come and minister how you minister, Holy Spirit. Soft and gentle, perfect timing. Come, Holy Spirit, into this place. Fill our hearts so that it overflows with thankfulness. Fill our hearts that it overflows with joy. I declare joy in this place this morning. Joy in the house of the Lord this morning. Joy for the weary one joy for the one who hasn't felt it joy for the one who spent all day Thursday cooking and cleaning and they need a day of rest today God <laughs> come on come on turn to somebody next to you and say all right I'll take some of that joy I'll take some of that joy come on hug on somebody next to you and say I'll take some of that joy get some of that joy come on come on high five handshake a little noogie or something I don't know
shepherds by this jubilee why your joyous strains prolong what the glad some tidings be which inspire your heavenly song
unto us the Son is given. Let every heart prepare his throne. Let every nation under him. Oh, come and worship. Do not be afraid. No, no, my soul, my soul magnifies the Lord. My soul magnifies the Lord. He has done great things, great things for me. My soul, my soul magnifies the Lord. My soul magnifies the Lord. For He has done great things for me. Of His government, of His government, there will be no end. He'll establish it with His righteousness, and He shall reign on David's throne, and His name shall be from this day on. Wonderful Counselor, everlasting Father, Wonderful Counselor, and His name shall be. this morning just give him a praise offering this morning just let it ring out yes amen I know, 
I know who goes before me. I know who stands behind. The God of angel armies is always by my side. The one who reigns forever, he is a friend of mine. The God of angel armies is always by my side. My strength is in your name, for you alone can save. You will deliver me, yours is the victory. Whom shall I fear? Whom shall I fear? I know who goes before me, I know who stands behind the God of angel armies is always by my side. The one who reigns forever, he is a friend of mine. The God of angel armies is and nothing, and nothing formed against me shall stay. You hold the whole Sing that again, and nothing, and nothing formed against me shall stay. You hold the whole world in your hands. I'm holding on to your promises. You are faithful. You are faithful. You are faithful. always by my side the one who reigns forever he is a friend of mine the god of angel armies is always by my side i know who goes before me i know who stands behind the god of angel armies is always by my side the one who reigns forever is a friend of mine the god of angel army is always by my side the god of angel armies is always by my side and nothing formed against me shall stay you hold the whole world in your hands. I'm holding on to your promises. You are faithful. You are facing nothing. And nothing formed against me shall stand. You hold the whole world in your hands. I'm holding on to your promises. You are faithful. You are faithful. You are faithful. I know who goes before me. I know who stands behind the God of angel army always by my side the one who reigns forever he is a friend of mine the god of angel armies is always by my side the god of angel armies is 
was always by my side Yes, by my side He goes before him He goes before me He stands behind me goes before me and he stands behind isn't that amazing how we can go before us and stand behind us all at the same time If you want to sing, if you want to pray, just in your own way where you're at, just tell them this morning.
there's no place, no place I'd rather be, no place I'd rather be, no place I'd rather be, here in your love, come on church, no place I'd rather be, no place I'd rather be, do you mean it this morning? Let me hear you. No place I'd rather be. No place I'd rather be. No place I'd rather be. But here in your love, here in your love. No place I'd rather be. No place I'd rather be. No place I'd rather be. No Praise him this morning. Let it ring out. Yeah, don't hold back. We're not through? Okay, the boss says we're not through. The horses have been let out of the barn. The calf are out of the stall. They're rejoicing. I see them in the spirit. And when I saw it was when I saw Tara doing the signing for that set a fire down in my soul that I can't contain and I can't control. She started going like this. I go, Roger, look at that. And all of a sudden, God just gave me, you don't want to be in the barn. You don't want to be in the stall. You want to be out. You want to be free. So, Tara, could you do that up where everybody can see it? And I'm just going to pray that your spirit will leap like my spirit leapt <laughs> with the joy of knowing that only fire from heaven can bring this kind of desire and this kind of freedom and this kind of abandonment to trying to make it all good and right for yourself. If you just let go and let God, let go and let God this little song is so anointed. It's so anointed. So I want you to watch what Tara does on this song. And I want you just to let your spirit, just let your spirit leap. And whatever that does for you, if you need to just like take a little stroll or a little dance or, but Barbara, this is just great when I saw this. I just go, oh my goodness. We love horses. And so I just saw this in the spirit. So let's do this a few more times. And set a fire down in my soul that I can't contain, I can't control. I want more of you, God. I want more.